over to you, Mark, and you've got an Italian dish on the menu. Do you how, know how, how to say it? How do you pronounce that again? Canadili. Uh, I don't know how to say it. Sounds awesome with an accent. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of accent? Right, well, anyway, it, we'll call it a dumpling just to make things easier for today. <laughs> so that's what it is. It's a dumpling. We've got, uh, we've got all these beautiful ingredients in there. We've got some Edam cheese through the dumpling. And this is a great recipe to use all that stale bread up you've got at home. And there's two different ways of serving this. We can do it dry and just fry it in with a little bit of butter. Or as we're going to do it today, we're going to serve it in a nice little vegetable broth. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. Now it's back to you guys. Mark, you're making an Italian dish. I think they say a cannelli... No. Can <laughs> a... No, they say dumplings. Dumpling. Yeah, yeah they just it. say dumplings. <laughs> OK, uh, so take us through it, because stale bread, we've all got a bit of that. Yeah, exactly. So if you've, if you've got stale bread at home, this is like a perfect recipe to use it all, right? So just... Um, uh, make sure it's nice and dry yeah. and crisp, and then we're just going to dice it up and we're just going to pop it into a bowl. Oh, it's like croutons. Well, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, even if you haven't got stale bread and you want to make this recipe, yeah. just, you know, uh, take the loaves, uh, slices of bread out and just lay them on your, uh, you know, counter at home or on yep. a tray or so and just leave them, leave them out um, just to dry, like, overnight. Nice. You know, oh, yeah. and nice I, and I took this out for you last night when I left the show. So Thank they're you. nice and dry, aren't they? It's good. <laughs> did you, hey, speaking of which, did you see that kitchen before from Mastercraft? Yeah, no, it's beautiful. Have actually. you got, have really you got a scullery? Yes, I have. Oh, I knew you would. It's not as neat as that one. <laughs> well, at least you've got one. <laughs> They're the end thing. And our chef has one. Okay, oh, cool. definitely, definitely. I do like the stainless steel bench as well. That was, yes. that was pretty cool. We've and got... I, was, I was seeing Tom Harvey freak out in the corner there because uh, JJ, his other half, she loves spending money on the kitchen. He was like, no, <laughs> don't show her that. <laughs> okay. All right, so we've got, the, we've got the bread in there. I've just put some nutmeg in there. And I've got some milk. So I'm just going to pour some milk over. Yep. And we've got some eggs, which we've just beaten up there. So we're going to cool. pull that over. Right, so I want to give you, you want to give that a good mix. OK. Here you go, there's a fork here. Right, and then what you want to do is you want to do this ahead of time. So give it a really good mix so everything's in. And then you just want to leave it out at room temperature for an hour or two, all right? And then that's just going to soak up all those ingredients, uh, all those liquids in there. And then we're ready for our next stage. So we've got a pan heated up there. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to do a nice little dice of onion, and then we're just going to sweat that down in a little bit of butter. OK, hang on, look, I'm really confused. So we left the bread out to dry. Yep. And now we're just going to make it wet again by yeah, adding this mixture to it. it. Yeah, yeah. Couldn't you just Flavor. add... Couldn't you just add soft bread then, if you're going to make it soft again? Well, I don't know, you want to take that with the Italians, I don't know. Oh, OK, OK. They're worse, worse than the French. Right, <laughs> yeah, and let's not mess with them then. Right, no, only joking. OK, right. OK, right, so that's great. So leave that um, leave that for a couple of hours, just so it soaks up nice and evenly and gets all nice and soft, and all those flavours are going to go into the bread. That's why we dry it and then re -soak Right, otherwise it. it'll so just get into sludge, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Okay, You're cool. not going to get those flavours. I'll in. leave so, this over here, yeah, Chef. Chuck that over there. Right. right. And then so, a little bit of oil, onions in, a couple of knobs of butter as well, yep. and we're just going to sweat them down. And obviously all that butter is going to go into our uh, mix as well. Yep. Right, and then we want some herbs. What are you using? So I'm going to save a little bit of parsley for uh, the uh, garnish for the right. soup. And then we're going to chop the rest of the parsley. So we've got some nice flat leaf parsley. You can use the um, Stalk. st stalks yeah. as well. Yeah, that's fine. So chop it all up. This is going to give us some flavour. And, you know, pretty much this is just the basic recipe. But you can put any flavours you want in here. Any herbs, any spices, whatever you want. Whatever you enjoy, put it in there if you want. Right, and I've also got some um, cheese. OK. And I'm just going to do a little dice of that. And then I have got a bowl down there, yes. which I have done two hours before. Oh, look at this. Due to the magic of television. Yeah, and bread has been it. soaked. So just going to dice this up. And then we're going to add everything to this mix. Jeez, what time did you get here this morning? Yeah, My yeah, goodness. Nice, nice and early. I bet. And then, uh, and then we're going to boil it make these nice little dumplings. And we're going to poach them in a nice vegetable stock here. So I've got some vegetable stock on. Yep. And then we're going to serve it in another vegetable stock. But we're going to have to do that separately, because when we cook the dumplings in there, it's all going to go cloudy. OK, so cool. it's not going to be good for presentation. So onions can go in here now. In there? Yep. And we'll put the cheese in and the parsley in. And we'll give it a good mix around. And then we'll come back and we'll boil it. Oh, yeah, yeah. OK. As always, we put the recipe online, thecafe.co.nz. If you make this, take a photo of it. That would be great. We'd love to see it. Put it on our Facebook page. We're going to mix this up. We're going to take you through what you have to do with the broths very soon. Uh, right now, though, we are back in the kitchen. We're finishing off our canadili. I don't know how to say it. Italians are going to hate me for this. But we're just going to call them dumplings, OK? <laughs> right, so we're finishing off our mix. We're just going to season it. A little bit of salt and uh, some pepper. Right, so we've mixed everything into the breadcrumbs. Yeah, yeah. So the, so the breadcrumbs have just absorbed all those flavours. They've yep. absorbed the egg, the, the seasoned milk, and uh, you've got all the flavour now. I'm going to put a little bit of flour in just to hold it all together. Right. Uh, and you can give that a good mix through. 
Okay, sweet. Right, and then I've got some more parsley I'm going to chop for the garnish bef just before we serve. Well, there's a good little tip for you now. I've, got, I've warmed some more stock up, and this is what we're going to serve our dish in. So we're not going to poach the dumplings in this, because we will see after the stock, what we use to poach the dumplings is all going to, you know, little bits are going to come off, and it's going to go cloudy, and it's not going to be good for presentation. Right. So I've got some fresh stock. A little bit of the uh, parsley stalk just goes in there, and then that'll just give us an extra bit of flavour. We'll season that up just before we serve, and then we'll just chop some um, fresh parsley and some Parmesan cheese over it. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. What a great dish looking? for vegetarians, actually, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, no, it's really, really so this good. This kind of like really knocky in a funny sort of way, is it? Uh, no. 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 Okay. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> nothing like knocky. No, it's nothing you just, like knocky. You just insult the Italians again. Oh, okay, sorry. All right, so... Um, you make helps. great cars, though. Yeah, okay. <laughs> helps, helps if you've got some wet hands, and then you can just make them in these nice, um, you know, sort of golf ball-sized balls if you want. You can, make, mm -hmm. you can make them a bit smaller if you want. A little bit larger, you know, they will expand, you know, because right. they are going to expand a little bit. So we've got our stock, bring it up to the boil, we're just going to turn it down, and then we're just going to keep keep making these. So key is just to sort of compact them as you go. Right, so that stops them from falling apart with yeah, the rubber on the bottom. Compact them and then just give them a nice little roll, and then we're just going to poach them in the stock. And of course, that's going to give us some flavour as well, the stock. Okay. You know, it's. Uh, I mean, this is a great dish. You know, it's a real hearty, wintry dish, especially if yeah. you serve it um, wet in the in the soup. Um, you know, if you didn't want to serve it in the broth, you could just um, poach them like that, dry them off, and then you can just sort of re-saute them in a little bit of butter and some parmesan, which is really nice as well. Oh, no, this is good. I'm really pleased you're showing us this, because A, I've never heard of it, but B, it looks delicious. It looks so good. Well, that's it. I mean, you can mix it up. You could put, you know, you could serve it in a mushroom stock. You mm. could put mushrooms through here. You could put bacon in there if you wanted. You know, any flavours you want, you know, that's the that's the beauty of it, you know, you're just using it as a vessel for flavour. Okay, and look, um, I, I, these are all holding together, which is great, that's why you've got to compact them. How long would you give them in here? Oh, probably, I mean, just a light simmer like that, probably about eight to ten minutes. Okay. You know, you can sort of see, I mean, they're sort of sticking out at the top, so in about sort of three, four minutes, we'll just flip them over as well, so we get even cooking. And, uh, you know, once it's cooked, it's going to sort of, like, um, you know, firm up and hold together. Great. And then we'll just take them out and just let them cool down. And then you can rewarm them up in your broth good. once they're cooked. You got good technique there. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, no. Well, you're not even helping me today. I know. You I know. want to get your hands dirty <laughs> today. Yeah. Do you want me to? No, I've done it now. <laughs> okay. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> I was concentrating on the smell and the technique that you're using. Uh, as I said, I've never seen this before. And if you want the recipe, if you want to try it, go to thecafe.co.nz. Okay, nice. So what are we going to do with this one? What's that so, for? So that's just going to serve. That's just going to be our garnish. We're going to serve it in oh, the okay, soup. Cool. We're going to pour the right. soup over it in the bowl. Okay, okay. nice. Because so you, you can sort of see now, you've got little bits coming out. It's sort of starting to go cloudy. You don't want to use that one. I mean, you can. There's nothing wrong with that. Right. But, you know, it's all about presentation and just sort of, you know, just making it a little bit better. So you just got, you know, save some of the broth just separately. Okay, nice. Speaking of the presentation, you will see the fin finished product very soon. Don't forget, uh, about eight to ten minutes, turn them over. <laughs> 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 oh, sounds, sounds beautiful. Yeah, so they're, they're poached. I'm just going to put them in a bowl, and then we've got the fresh stock with some more parsley. Pour that over the top, look at that, and then finish it with some um, Parmesan cheese. Oh yeah, it's pretty good for a winter's day. Nice. Yeah. I would say being Italian, it's carnadole. But anyway, it looks delicious. <laughs>